When you have a loss, it's your responsibility. All right, guys, I'm out here at Mexico Beach today looking at a house that was hit by Hurricane Michael back in October of 2018. And I'm gonna kind of show you what goes on if you don't repair your home as you're supposed to. Uh, everybody has a responsibility to mitigate damages after you've suffered a loss and it's really important that you do this because if not you're going to be ending up in a situation like this house that I'm inspecting now that's actually in litigation. So uh, let me walk you through here and show you what we have. So you can see that the ha house is actually a multifamily and um, you can see down the side here on the left elevation it's uh, missing its uh, siding and all that good stuff. But uh, I'm gonna walk in here and just show you what has to happen when you suffer a loss and what your responsibility is. And you see walking in through the garage here, and a lot of you have seen this in Pensacola when Ivan hit Tampa, you've seen this when Charlie Francis, all those hit back in 04, it was pretty rough. And uh, you can see here is a bedroom down here that's been wiped out. And the flood line actually hit pretty high. It was about eight feet or so. Um, but, uh, so we walk up here to the second floor and this is where it starts to get good and you'll start understanding why you need to tarp your roof, why you need to tear everything out. Because you can see that this place was basically abandoned and look what happens. That's right, you, when you just leave everything intact, and you don't shut doors or anything like that you run into problems like this see that subfloor completely wet that subfloor could have been salvaged now probably not um so let's go up to the third floor and you'll understand why it's so important more than the second floor because coming up here you you can't hear it but my feet are squishing and here's the bedroom of the front. Not so bad, kind of like what you saw. There's daylight. So what are you gonna do when you decide that insurance company's kind of putting up a fight because you keep getting more and more damage, but you haven't done anything to protect the house. I mean, it's kind of a tough situation because you say, I want to get my house fixed, but you leave the place looking like this for 18 months. And it's hard to argue when you can literally see daylight however many months later after the storm. And this is what you get. Remember that subfloor wet below? That's all the drywall, the carpet, and everything. Just left it here. So now the structure is basically trashed. Uh, all because we didn't mitigate. All right, so I'm out here on the third floor deck. And I know that sounds a little harsh, what I'm saying. But I can't tell you how many of these I look at, you know, in the construction and insurance world. Where you have people saying that they want to sue the insurance company because they're not paying enough or whatever it might be. But I will tell you this, that if it's deemed a loss by a hurricane and you have wind damage, more than likely they're gonna give you money to tarp the roof. Or hires, they'll even find someone to tarp it because they don't wanna suffer more losses. When you have a loss, it's your responsibility to mitigate the damages to stop damages from coming in. And abandonment is never an option. So I don't wanna sound harsh. I, I mean, I feel bad for all the victims that had to go through this for Hurricane Michael. Heck, I had to go through this in the floods of 2014 on my own house. So I mean, I completely understand. I sympathize uh, with the situation, um, but we can't just throw up our hands and walk away. Um, it's just not how it works. And I don't wanna see people get into these um, storm situations where their lives have already been turned upside down and now it's just turned upside down even more. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Uh, if you ever suffer a loss, give us a call at Addison Riley. I'll be happy to walk you through this and tell you what you should and shouldn't do, at least as to my opinion, um, to help you get through this, even if you don't hire us, because that's what we're here to do is help people and help uh, solve problems. But anyway, guys, give us a call at 776-5009. Find us at AddisonRiley.com and as always, Facebook at AddisonRiley LLC.